It's time for another recipe here on Real Nice Guyana, my friends. Home of traditional Guyanese recipes. Welcome to our channel. If it's your first time here, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any updates from us, any new videos. So today's video, we're gonna be making fried bygan with um, arrows and shrimp. I know a lot of you love that. I like that with some oil roti myself. So today we're gonna be doing that eggplant bygan with arrows and shrimp. We are using the of course the white belly shrimp, the fine shrimp and we're gonna be using some celery, tomato, garlic all the stuff that you see on the board there and of course all the ingredients with measurements is gonna be listed under the video in the description box so let's get started with the recipe my friends yes we're using one stem we don't have the stem of the celery, cut out the stem <laughs> so but it's one stem of celery we're gonna be using our arrow, one arrow one arrow is enough for this recipe one, as you can see, we have a large bygan eggplant. So one arrow is enough for this recipe. If you want, you can use, use more, but one would be enough. So we're gonna get our stuff prepared, as usual. So we're gonna start with our scallion. So we're gonna pound our pepper and garlic in here. So now it's time for the star of the show, the bygan, melange, eggplant, whatever you call it. All the same thing. Good food right there. So with this bygan guys, you can take off all the skin, you can peel off all the skin if you like, or you can leave some on. We're gonna leave some of the skin on. So this way of cutting your bygan is way easier than holding it in your hand and cutting your thumb, right? Sometimes you get some marks on your thumb and so on. So this is a better way. Now this is the other star of the show, the arrow. Yummy yummy arrow. As I said, this goes nice in everything, every which way you can cook arrows. It tastes real nice. There we go. These sizes are okay. So we have our pan on. Our heat is on, our stove is on. And the first thing we're gonna do is boil the water out from the shrimp. So our shrimp is already washed. We just added some water again to it. Some oil to our pan. All right, our oil is hot, my friends. So we're gonna add our onion. So we're gonna fry this up for about 30, 45 seconds. Get a bit of color in that, release some aromas. So now we're going to add our scallions and our celery there. And we're going to also add our 
pounded garlic and pepper. So we're gonna fry this up for another 45 seconds or so. Now we're gonna add our tomatoes. Give that a good mix. And now we're gonna add our star of the show, the bygone, eggplant, balanje. We're gonna add some salt to taste. And a bit of black pepper. And give this a good mix. So that was the bygone and the edo also we added. They were in the same, we washed both together and added them at the same time. So now we're gonna also add our shrimp. So we're gonna give this a good mix and cover it. So we're gonna cover this now. See you in a bit. Let us do its thing. It's been about five minutes. Uh, we'll give this a turn now. So the bygone is beginning to melt as you can see. Things are cooking up, things are cooking up. So you're gonna give this a turn. Make sure it's not burning and so on. So we're gonna cover this back, let it cook some more. So it's been about 10 minutes or so guys and we'll give this a turn again. So that's looking yummy already guys, see that? That's the power of Baigan aka Balanje. So this is looking good already guys, so all we need to do is let this evaporate a bit more, get a bit more dry and that's, that's gonna be it. So we're not gonna cover this again, we're not gonna cover it anymore for the remainder of the time. We're just going to let it evaporate a bit and that's going to be it. So we'll show you the finished product. Checking on the edo. So the edo is boiled already. So that's why you don't want to cook them, uh, cut them any bigger than that that we did. So yeah, this is looking good. See you in a bit. So this is dried down a bit guys and you've tasted it needs a little bit more salt so we're gonna add that now. And this is looking ready now. This is done guys. That's how it, easy it is to make a nice delicious baigana shrimp with edo. Uh, you can have this with rice roti, any one of the rotis, sada roti or al roti. For me, I prefer to have this with oil roti. So yeah, that's it guys. That's it for this fried bygan and edo with shrimp recipe. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please click the bell icon so you get notifications from us whenever we post new videos. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.